Never know how far it'll go. I would say maybe it's a tie between Patti Smith or Nick Cave. I saw Patti Smith in 2012 and Nick Cave in 2013. And in both circumstances, I didn't know too much about their, I knew Patti Smith through her writing, um, but I wasn't too familiar with the albums. And Nick Cave was always one of those people that he was always in my periphery and I never, I, I never thought that it was my thing. And then when I saw him live, it changed my life as it seen Patti Smith live. I bought American Water by the Silver Jews and Pussy Whipped by Bikini Kill the same time. I was maybe 14, 15, and I just got my first job, but there's a record store in Lawrence, Kansas called Love Garden, which is a great record store. And I went in there and my friend's older sister had told me to get Pussy Whipped. So that's what led me to that. Shout out to Angie St. Louis. And Silver Jews, I don't know, I was a fan, I guess, already. And so it was, you know, I wanted the vinyl. My ideal super group with me in it would it would be me, Patti Smith, Nick Cave, Living and Dead, anybody. I mean, it's a hard thing to say because I don't know if I'd want to be in a band with my heroes because I think I'd be the weakest link. So my ideal super group is maybe just uh, maybe just me all alone. <laughs> I just sort of the adventure of it all, the sort of camping of it all, being with my friends a lot of times, or you know, every waking moment of the day, hanging out with my buds. And I don't know, performing, you know, I just love performing and I love, I love getting to go around the world playing, playing music for people. In his face. My least favorite thing about being on tour, especially when I'm overseas, is jet lag. Um, just the lack of sleep, just the malnutrition all around. But other than that, it's, it's something that I really love. No mas, no mas. Wow, that's a great question. The first music festival that I ever played. You know, I don't even know if I know. You know, maybe it was with my old band Woods that I played bass in. And maybe it was a festival called Fuck Yeah Fest in Los Angeles, one of the earlier iterations. I don't think it's around anymore, but it was around for a long time and it was one of the first ones. It's a great question. I think it was that. Yeah.